everyone, it's B here, your friendly close to my heart consultant. Um, I have a project share to share with you. I was in a embellishment swap that was hosted by Tina's Cricut Create. My partner was um, Leanne Cash, and I received her package already, and I want to show you what I made and that I sent to her. Um, we were supposed to do five handmade flowers. Well, I tried and tried and tried and tried, and they just never came out. I even went looking at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's, at Joann's to find a flower dye just to, you know, make them that way. But I couldn't find anything. So I sent her a message and asked her if I could make her paper rosettes instead. And she said, sure, no problem. So I made her um, some paper rosettes. And these are the ones that I made for her. This is the first one. Right here. And it's a two-layered rosette with a button and some um, twine in the center. And then here's another one with a pearl, half pearl accent in the center. And then here's this one, very pretty. I, look, I like the color scheme of this one. And then here's a, a little small one with a pink half back pearl. And then I think this tie dyed paper was really cute. And so this one has a yellow button. And then here's this one with a blue button. And then this one's really pretty. And I was happy that it came out where all the diamonds are kind of equal. So it turned out really good. And I was kind of worried about the pattern paper being a little too busy. And then here's this one here. I think this one is very pretty. Then I have this one. And this one has like um, polka dot swirls and red polka dots. And it came out really pretty. It's like um, a lot of different designs going on in this one. And here's a super cute fun one that's just red, pardon me, green and white polka dots on a blue background. And then here's another one of the pretty um, pale pink and blue with a pearl, um, halfback pearl center. And then this is my favorite one. I just, I love how this one turned out, and it's just two rosettes together with a, a blue button in the center. So those are the rosettes I made her. Um, I made her a dozen of them. Even though we were only supposed to make five, I made her a dozen. We had to include two things of bling. So I'm giving her this red bling here, and it's got three different kinds of bling in it. And then I'm giving her a package of the Studio G, um, this new bling that I just found that's like purple iridescent, very pretty. It changes colors um, when you move it around in the light. And then we had to give give 24 sheets, 24 pieces of six by six paper. Actually, she's getting 48 sheets. Um, because all the paper that I gave her is um, double sided so you know here's the front sides you know some really flashy paper it's from Kane Company color box um, recollections So some real, real pretty patterns. Stripes, flowers. Uh, uh, this one's really cute. It says, keep calm and have a cupcake. And this one's got um, embossed flowers on it. So there's all the one side. And then... Here's the other sides. Musical notes. So she got double, this is um, my little shoebox paper. Um, so 
So in actuality, out of the 24 pieces that I'm sending, she's getting 48 because she can use either the front side or the back side. And here's the keep calm and have a cupcake. It's white on um, pink on this side and then it's pink on white on that side. And then there's some solids and then there's some more floral prints. And then I really love this paisley one. It's just very pretty. So she's getting um, 24 sheets, which turns out to be 48 of um, pattern paper. And as a bonus, I'm throwing in 24 sheets of cardstock. Um, some of it's textured and Halloween colors, some brights, you know, some some neons um, as a bonus for her. Then we had to make five stick pins. Well I made, here's her five. The first one is um, bronzes and oranges with a yellow flower. And then a purple one, a pink one with a butterfly. This pretty pink one here and then a gunmetal one. I also made her two special stick pins since tomorrow is uh, October 1st which is the start of Breast Cancer Amer Awareness Month and I'm a big supporter of the American Cancer Society um, and I have my own Relay for Life team so I made her a breast cancer awareness pin and then this last one here is an angel which represents her birth month um, in blue because she's a December baby so these are her stick pens I made for her. Then we had to make a chunky charm. And I will tell you I've never made one ever. So this is hers. It is six inches long. It starts off with this little cute hanger at the top. This big pearl with a bead cap. And this little charm that she can take off that is the letter L. And then as you go down the charm, there's a little girl. Every girl's a princess, so here's her crown. And then the word love. Then here's a, a blue charm that uh, represents her birth month with a aluminum uh, rose. And then here's a green, green and white charm. And then here's her angel. And then here's just a black and white charm with a yellow aluminum rose. And then here's a, another pink charm with a pink rose. And then here's a charm that says live your dreams. And then a little clock. A cross because we all need faith. And then here's her breast cancer charm. And, it, and the charm says hope. Here's a cameo heart. And then here's my my charm, black and yellow with the little bee. And then there's a purple butterfly. And then here's a purple one. And this charm here at the bottom is off of vintage necklace. And there's a little stars and moon. And then I thought this was really cute, so I threw in a little chili pepper. And then there's a red and white, red, white, and blue charm to represent the United States. And here's a charm because um, we're friends. This charm here, this this charm here, um, is from a vintage earring that I tore apart. I just thought it was really pretty, so I added it to her charms. Um, here's a fan. This charm here that I added some vintage uh, pieces to is from a pair of earrings. There's a key down here at the bottom with another uh, vintage charm from a necklace I tore apart. And then here's the bottom that's pink and white and then another vintage charm. And I think I got them all. But like I said, this is over six inches long. There was no um, size limit, so I just used a piece of Rolo chain and just started creating. 
Um, she can tear this apart and use any of the charms on there, or she can leave it as is. You know, it's up to her. So that's why, you know, I created it the way I did. But for sure, she can take the, the, the L off at the top and use it on other things. So she's getting this, this um, chunky charm. Okay, let me move these out of the way here. And then we had to give three yards of fabric or trims. Well, I created her, I created for her this mini album. And it's a flower mini album, and I made the pocket. And the first tag is holding a yard of the close to my heart burlap ribbon. And it's a cute little tag on the inside. And then the next one is another pocket that I made and it's holding some red sequined ribbon a yard of that and then here's the next one and it has some green lace trim and there's a yard of that and then here's this one on this cute polka dot tag which I didn't do anything with so she can use these tags and something else as well and she can recycle the um album so this is just some blue flowered trim and there's a yard of that um, this is a tag that I made I just took a stamp and stamped the flower all over it and then I colored it in with my sharpies and there's some pretty orange trim for the holiday coming up Halloween and then here's the last one and this is a pretty floral tag and this has some pretty, it's like soft ivory and kind of iridescent trim. And there's a yard of that. So um, I made her this mini album. And I actually got this idea from a mini album I received with a bunch of trims from Cindy for Kiddos. So I just took her idea and created one to send to my um, swap partner. So she was getting that. And, oh, this is the card I made for her. This is a Close to My Heart stamp, and it is called A Tree. It's from the Seasons and Nature's um, line, and it's A1124. And this is some lace trim that I got from Marcy's Crafty Mama. And then you open it up, and this saying here, there's no greater gift than friendship, that's from um, the new uh, stamp set that I got by Close to My Heart called Kindred Spirits, as well as this little tulip that I uh, stamped as well. And then, of course, I have to have my little signature B. And then on the back, it just says, Inspired by life, created by hand. One of a kind art created by B 2013 and then it says original artwork close to my heart company. So this is the card that is also being sent with her. I just have to, you know, write my little message on the inside. Plus I have packed a few other extra goodies into her box. Um, but I'm not gonna show them. They're gonna be a surprise to her. And I'm sure that she will enjoy them very much. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, um, Luann, for being my swap partner. I enjoyed everything that you made me. As you can see, your little cup sits right here on my desk, as well as the one that I got from my friend Renee, who made th this one. And then down here is my little bee from uh, Jay Colby. And that. So... Anyway, thank you all for watching, and this is going out in the mail to her, so she should have it this week. And have a great and blessed day, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye!